it's not all fun and games in the online gaming world. Gamergate, a movement being billed by some as a fight for game journalism ethics, is being used to target women in the industry. As Samuel Burke shows us, last weekend it forced one woman out of her home by multiple elaborate death threats. And she's not the first one who's needed to go into hiding. It's scenes in video games like this that make many women in the gaming industry feel that female characters are all too often represented as sex objects. Gaming developer Brianna Wu has been outspoken against her industry's depictions of women on screen. As a result, now she says she and her husband had to flee their home this weekend because of threats made against her on Twitter. I got these death threats. It's very, very detailed death threats that, you know, promised to castrate my husband, to murder me. I do genuinely believe my life is in danger. The threats came through a Twitter account using the name Death to Brianna, tweeting out Brianna's home address, threatening to sexually assault, and then murder her. Twitter has suspended the account and police in Massachusetts tell CNN they're working to identify whoever is behind the messages. Similar to the tech industry, the gaming workforce is currently made up of 76% males and just 22% females. You have players which are taking in these unconscious messages. Women are not welcome here. This is our turf. This is our space. And as a result of that, we have a very hostile culture towards women. Other women speaking out online have also been met with attacks via social media using the hashtag Gamergate. I see the hostage. She's in the kids' room. Despite the threats, Brianna Wu says she will keep fighting to improve right, so the video a, game industry. I am not going to get bullied out of this industry by some people that are this threatened by women that just want to sit here and make video games. It is ridiculous. And she intends to keep producing her own video games like this one, with female characters truly at the forefront. It would do a lot for my morale if I understood what they were dying for. Samuel Burke, New York.